You just heard winter weather, at least of some type, is headed our way, which means preparations are already underway. And our team coverage now turns to Western Mass News reporter Maria Wilson, who's live in studio with how local communities are bracing for tomorrow's storm. Maria. Well, that's right, Chris. By winter weather threatening to impact Tuesday's morning commute, local crews say they are ready for whatever tomorrow's storm will bring our way. Monday sunny skies may have felt like the calm before the storm for many of us, but local DPW crews used the time to their advantage. Our staff started going out today, pre-treating all the streets, including side streets. The crews were definitely exhausted after the first first major storm event of the season. They're rested up again, so we're ready for the next event to come. And with a messy Tuesday on tap, Department of Public Works crews in both Chicopee and Wilbraham already kicking preparations into high gear. And while the storm's track has shifted south, lowering the chance for significant snowfall, crews are ready for whatever comes their way. As the storm begins, we'll uh continue to maintain and kind of keep it accumulation down with salt um, and then around when we see around a couple inches or so a little over two inches of snow we'll start um, scraping plowing. But it's not just mother nature that's posing a challenge for Chicopee's DPW. The department superintendent Elizabeth Batista says they're also dealing with staffing shortages. They have enough crews to put out about 50 pieces of equipment during storms like this. That's 20 pieces shy of their ideal staff. We just, you know, ask the public to be patient and, you know, know that we're going to get it. We're going to get it done. We're going to get out there and uh, it's just may take a little bit of time. We know that it's hard. And it's not just DPW crews gearing up for the winter weather. We have brought in uh, additional crews. What we do is we take our crews and we place them strategically so they can respond as quickly and as safely as possible. Eversource spokesperson Priscilla Ress telling Western Mass News the electric company has been following the forecasts closely. We are well prepared for what we expect. And while snow totals aren't expected to exceed more than a few inches throughout the region, according to Ress, the snow's weight could still be an issue. Our biggest concern, our biggest challenge is the trees. If that heavy snow builds up in the branches and brings those limbs down onto our electrical equipment, that's the number one cause of outages. Both DPW and electric crews will be out responding to the storm tomorrow. Ress and Batista say that if you see a downed wire, an unplowed road, or any similar issue pop up, reach out to their offices. And you can head on over to our website for a full list of school closures and delays for tomorrow. Reporting live in studio, Maria Wilson, Western Mass News.